another Fox News host, you know, decides to call a black elected official trashy. This time it is Attorney General Letitia James. So I'm going to go to the clip and then give you background. Here it is. Let me say one thing. No private company has ever been faced with this kind of money that they had to put up in order to appeal. Mm -hmm. Everybody understand this is just so he can appeal. If he doesn't come up with a half a billion dollars in cash, he can't appeal the case, which on Eighth Amendment grounds of the Constitution is an excessive fine by anyone's analysis. And finally, the thing, and I heard this today, is maybe it's time for him to go to federal court on this Eighth Amendment claim so that he gets some kind of repose or something that gives him the chance to hold on for a minute. And by the way, her, her drooling, I look at 40 Wall Street, everything, that is beneath the Office of Attorney General. Stop being so trashy in the way you approach this defendant and in the way that you approach the resolution of this. You're calling her trashy while defending the trash of Donald Trump. You have lost your way, Judge. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this, program called Indisputable. We just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Put up the picture full mass. Let's get into it. Fox News host Janine Pirro, of course, was the one to share this video excerpt to social media of her on brand commentary during Fox's The Five on Tuesday. It was part of a larger explanation she gave on Donald Trump's failure to secure an appeal bond for his civil bank fraud fine, which she blamed on crime and immigrants all over New York City. That's the reason here. She doubled down on the trashy remark in an ex post with the video, hey, Letitia James, stop being so trashy in the way you approach Donald Trump's case. Uh, Attorney General, please lock her ass up. Fox News is in New York. It is in your jurisdiction, madam. I promise you can find something. All right, just look. Uh, here's where here's what she said leading up to it. It's more than four hundred and fifty-four million dollars. It's a hundred and twenty percent of that. That is almost a half a billion dollars in cash. Give me a break, and I'll tell you why they don't want to take a risk and give them that money. The reason they don't want to take a risk and do that is because they this this market, this real estate market in New York, is very very vulnerable. Nobody knows what the valuations are worth anymore. New York is now a crime ridden city. There is crime all over, immigrants all over. They're about to go bankrupt because of the immigrants in the hotels and all the areas of New York City. And there's another reason. Not only is New York unstable because of the Democrats who've literally destroyed this city, but because of the fact that people in business fear Letitia James. They fear an absolutist, authoritarian, totalitarian, I will get him. If I ran for office under that line, they they would have had me out on ethics grounds before I even made it to the office on the first day. It's quite beautiful, actually. It really is. I mean, they're losing it. They're reaching for straws. They're making up narratives that do not exist, nor do they fit in any context of reality. But I will say this. They are afraid of AG Letitia James. I actually interviewed the AG during the Trump's presidency. And when I interviewed her, I posed the question. Will you prosecute an ex-president Donald Trump if it is noted in your investigation he committed crimes? And she very clearly said, yes, um, he has no authority over state investigations while being president nor post. And she is definitely doing what she says she would do if the evidence provided the context to do so. Uh, but let's be clear about what the judge is saying on Fox News. She's saying that the money's just too much. Not that Donald Trump is innocent, because remember, he made his own bed here. He continued to disrespect the court, the process, the motions, the summary. He continued to do what he wanted to do. Well, this is allowable in the law, his penalty. And his attorney came out. A few days ago and said, you know, we went to 30 different agencies in order to get this half a 
half a billion dollars and nobody would lend it to Trump. First of all, so you're admitting Trump ain't got it. Okay, he said he had it, but he doesn't. Number two, you're blaming the New York housing market and immigrants and Democrats and crime on Trump not being able to secure a surety bond for what he has to put up. You do realize he can go anywhere in the United States of America and get the bond. Nobody wants to give it to him because the man does not operate in good faith. He does not pay back his debt. That is the reason they will not give him the money. But you know who may give him the money, Judge? I think Vladimir Putin has a cool half a billion sitting somewhere. How about the Saudis? Okay, uh, Trump has thus far come up empty after approaching some 30 bond companies, which rarely accept real estate as collateral. He must put up half, uh, about half a billion dollars in cash to account for the fine plus interest and any lender fees. Piro was outraged by the whole thing. Quote, the reason they don't want to take a risk and give Trump that money is because this market, this real estate market in New York is very, very vulnerable. Nobody knows what valuations are worth anymore, Piro said on the five. Trump was found to have inflated the value of his assets in order to secure better loans and decrease their value for tax purposes, which is what earned him the fine in the first place. Now, remember, um, if anybody else would have done this, they would likely be in prison, okay? So he literally lied on official documents in order to gain access to money and then game the taxation system and game the IRS in order to devalue that same asset purchased. This is all fraud. He did it for years. There's more. Piro then did what Trump and his family have done. Criticized New York, quote, New York is now a crime ridden city. There's crime all over, immigrants all over. They are about to go bankrupt because of the immigrants in the hotels and all the areas of New York City, Piero said. The same day, FBI data showed a drop in violent crime nationally last year. Piero then called James trashy for saying that she looks at one of Trump's properties located at 40 Wall Street. Each and every day, James could begin to seize Trump's properties and freeze his bank accounts after next Monday's bond posting deadline. Um, try her if you want to. Okay. Don't put up the surety bond. See what happens. Uh, Dina Dahl, uh, I am almost hoping he doesn't come up with the cash. And it sounds like, I mean, he could if he wanted to, to sell one of his properties, uh, but he doesn't want that. He wants to be the victim. He wants to complain yeah. about it. The fact is, is he's in the same position as anybody would be in this. And there's plenty of times that corporations have lost cases and have to put up bonds of this kind of amount. But normally, maybe they're more easily bonded because they're not as shady as Trump and don't lie as much as Trump. But if he wanted to, he could do it. But he doesn't want to follow the rules. He wants to be the exception. And the thing is, is when she decides to call the attorney general of the state of New York trashy, it's because she cannot say anything else about her That's because right. she is too smart. She's too ethical. She was way too good at her job. I mean, she got the business done, as you would say. Yep. She did it quickly. She did it quietly. She won most of her case on summary judgment back in the fall, which is almost unheard of to find liability of this extent based on a motion, not even trial. So that when they went to trial, it was mostly about damages. And then, mm -hmm. you know, some of the other liability claims. She didn't just win it. She won it like resoundingly. And yeah. that's why she couldn't find another word to call her. Because if you if she did one mistake, if she had, you know, crossed the line in any way, shape, or form, we would be hearing about that. But instead, she has to have this ambiguous term that means nothing. And the thing is, is she's actually wrong about the fact that Trump can't appeal without putting on the bond. She likes to lie. We know that she lied all the time about Smartmatic. It is a constitutional right. He has a right to appeal this. The only thing the bond does is prevent the attorney general 
from collecting on the assets during the appeal. But he doesn't have to put up the bond to appeal. He just has to put up the bond to stop the a collection during the appeal. So she's wrong on that too. Yep. The, the bond is really about shifting the risk and that's it. And I have to say, as a New Yorker from an immigrant family, I'm also personally offended by her claim about immigrants destroying New York. The city of New York is built on immigrants. It's the most multi-cash cultural city in the world. And the, it's the reason why it's the epicenter of the world. And because of that, let's be frank. That's right. Very well said and I completely concur.